<laughs> Today, Cowboys podcast drama, a take that Brew has had right for over a year now. Meanwhile, on the heels of the richest contract ever, is Jason Tatum actually underrated? Oh, no. Probably. No. But right now, we're in for another installment of Where in the World is Aaron Rodgers? The answer is Egypt. <laughs> Well, it was. was in Egypt. I think he's back now. Oh, shoot. You'd have lost that game. Yeah, he's back. Oh, darn it. Yeah. You get control of the board. <laughs> uh, Connor Hughes reporting that Rodgers pieced together this trip during his Achilles recovery. He wanted something to look forward to. And that players had no issue with this trip and were, quote, surprised that those outside one Jets drive felt differently. Thanks, Connor. Also, hysteria over Rodgers' whereabouts emerged largely because of the way the absence was announced. Oh, so whose fault is that? Well, the team. They're blaming Salah. They are Rogers blaming Salah. They are blaming Salah. Yeah. Uh, oh, while they were aware of Rogers' trip and understanding of why it was important to him, uh, their public stance on the matter gave the impression they were not and discounted Rogers' near perfect. This sentence. is so shameful. Throughout the voluntary. Process, this is shameful. Uh, the offseason <laughs> is nearly perfect. <laughs> nearly perfect. You, we, I, I mean, this oh, is there is. Uh, this is so. I know you're upset. I mean, it's just it. I I don't think Robert Sala is a very good coach. I'm on the record on that. There is nothing I have said that is as unfair to Sala as this line Ooh. of reporting and reasoning, which is this wouldn't have been a problem if Robert Sala didn't make it a problem. That's what that implication clearly is. Yeah. is the, and by the way, I don't believe that it was Robert Sala and Robert Sala alone that called it unexcused. I agree. But now the organization is trying to leak to friendly reporting much ado about nothing when they did the version of concerned, very concerned for this year's Buffalo Bills, except it was the Jets with, with Aaron Rodgers not being there. And as far as Brew, does he need to clear the air? This is, so it has now been reported by multiple places he was in Egypt. Mm -hmm. I, there is also, I think, if you listen to Aaron's own words about some of his interest in Egypt, it seems to be what, along the lines of a lot of the, what some would call conspiratorial beliefs he has about previous societies, Tartania, all those things. I'm not, there's a lot of reasons people go to Egypt, but I would, for Aaron, I don't think it's unfair to assume that was part of the allure there. So here's the point I'm making about, does he need to clear the air, bro? If we all agree that if we found out, hey, Aaron, you're finally talking, why weren't you at minicamp? And the answer is, well, I didn't want it to come out, but I was donating a kidney saving a relative's life we'd all be like oh my god we all owe you an apology there are there is there are extreme there are reasons and if it was oh um brother's wife was having a baby i wanted to be there sure you'd be like okay not quite the kidney but there's there's and a those scale those so, would have been so, right too. sure um and if it was you know what i was mentally burnt out in a way i didn't expect i would be and i just thought it was best for me to just be away, quiet retreat. Would have been fine. I think that... Uh, Which that's, he might say. Right. By the way, I think that's somewhere here on there. If the answer is, it was the only time on the schedule the Egyptologist would tell me about Tartania, so I had to go, that's over here. <laughs> and so if we all agree that there are certain excuses that would give you more grace, this would be one that would, I think fairly generate the least my wacky youtube reddit laden brain had to go see these pyramids for myself because i think a different society built them if that's the reason yeah you need to clear the air that's fair that is logically consistent and so yeah i think you should clear the air bro whatever the reason he needs to clear the air I mean, he, he owes it to the to his teammates, to the Jets organization. You had an inexcused absence. Tell us why. I mean, that, that that's got those are the questions he has to answer. Where'd you go? Why did you go during minicamp? You 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 know Aaron generally when mandatory Correct. minicamp happens. The, the, all right? the ten day window. You could have scheduled it at any time. Why didn't you schedule it early, later, whatever? What would you think about the Jets, the way they handled it? Why It was inexcused. Do you have a prop? Like, there are so many questions they need to ask him 
All right, so he absolutely should clear the air. They need it clear so this doesn't – look, I don't think this affects how he plays. I don't think any of us uh, believe this will affect how he plays, but it just goes to show you – where is his mind at? You're the guy that said, get all non-football distractions out of the right. building, and now you go ahead to Egypt for a vacation while we're all at minicamp. Before you go, Wilds, yeah. a, a quick question. Brew, do you think it affects his ability to lead? Because I do. I don't, so well, I, I don't think it affects his ability to throw a football, right. but I think it affects his ability to be the unquestioned voice and leader of the team. I, I, I tend to agree because I think we all, you know, with the things he said, it's hypocritical. We yeah. talked about it. Selfish. But if those players are all in on him and like, hey, we're fine with it. If they really are, then they can get past that. See. But I think, I think some of the staff – like the coach, I, I think Robert Sala was bothered. And I'm not mad at him for being bothered. Don't you think that the Jets, and it's a natural reaction, where maybe they had an issue a little bit with Aaron Rodgers taking off. It's the reason why he was fine. It was unexcused. But the criticism was so over the top, let's say, how, how they would view it. In this article, it was, it was the word hysteria was used, that they circle the wagons. And you're like, you know what? I didn't like it. But now that you guys are coming after it so much, we're going to stand behind Rodgers even more. Yeah, m maybe. But that then, unfortunately, re reveals a totally different dysfunction, which is if you did not expect this to get this exact level of coverage, then you're unserious. Right. Yeah. If you if you, you think if you that? thought ah it'll be a one day story, <laughs> then you don't know what you're doing in New York. Then like they, right in New the York places? with one of what is Rogers at worst the fifth most famous player in the league. Sure, you know what yeah, I mean. Like I feel like Mahomes and Kelsey. If Kelsey gets the Taylor Swift stuff, Mahomes because yep. are in a separate area. But you could argue after those two, he's the most famous. Yeah. And so like and it's the Jets, and he's certainly top five most polarizing, right or wrong, all of that. And for, to not anticipate that there would be hysteria. And by the way, I don't think there was hysteria. I think there was fair questions. <clears throat> and I think there was legitimate poking at, this is wildly hypocritical given right. what you have said on the record. Mm -hmm. And, and... Your lack as a team, as a player of foresight, in getting ahead of it. Because that's the other part of it. Is all of this, right or wrong, is, is taken from the media differently if on one of his first days of being at OTAs, instead of just basking in the, the PR of, doesn't have to be here, I'm here, you were like, by, you know what I mean? I thought it was really I'm important to, to be miss. here because yeah, yeah. I knew and the That's team right. knew. But the other piece of it, Brew, and this is why I think he needs to clear the air, is Sala made it clear he knew this was going on. But we also know sometimes we get lost in the flood of nonsense surrounding this team. His teammates did not. Yeah. Tyrod Taylor took the field that day not knowing he was going to be first And he should have let them know, too. Of course. And that's where the question about – it's all about how they respond. If privately guys are like, man, come on. You, I, you chastising us and talking about getting distractions out of the building and now you do this privately, if they might be, because publicly they're saying the right thing, that's fine. If privately they feel that way, that's a huge problem. Well, and remember Woody Johnson when he tweeted out – how Rodgers looks as good yeah. as ever when he's oh, slinging it. Oh, yeah. So they are definitely in spin mode, and, and that's more of what oh, we're he's out there today. like he's 26 years old. It's just great. Um, all right, so now we're going to talk about from the leader of the team to the final draft pick this year. It's Jets rookie Jalen Key. He was taken last in the draft, but does exude a Brock Purdy level of confidence <laughs> when it comes to critics of the Jets saying, quote, we'll shut some mouths. Okay. Are you buying the Jets will silence their critics, bro? I, I, you know I like their roster. Yeah. All right? Come on. Here we go. On paper, and you can't say anything, Nick, what now now that you're back in the 76ers <laughs> with all their injury, injury <laughs> possibilities. Um, and I don't think that this missing mini camp is going to be the difference between Aaron Rodgers having a great year, mediocre sure. year, bad year, whatever. And my problem with them is 
just Rodgers, it's just one mess after another, even though he didn't even play last.